What's up everybody, I'm Brian from i1 Tesla and today we're gonna to make something for the Model 3. I'm in the process of changing up some things in this and getting prepared to change some things on this car. One thing you need to jack the car up is actually a jack pad because there's only certain spots in the car that you can jack the car up. Let me try to show you one of them. It's actually really hard to see. Let's try to get it on camera. It's right above here. There's a, there's a hole in the battery pack. Well, it's not really a hole in the battery pack, but there's a hole. Thanks, Bob. There's a hole in part of the frame of the battery pack. There's four holes, and that's what Tesla uses to jack the car up, and that's what anybody's supposed to use to jack the car up. Make sure if you take your car to a place to rotate the tires, if you're not taking it to Tesla, that they know where to put, where to place the jacks or the jack pad. I'm kind of a DIY kind of person, so I didn't want to go out and buy those jack pads. It's really just like a hockey puck with a little pin. Yeah, it stays up in there, but you know, I've heard people lose, leaving them up there and forgetting about them and they fall off all the riding down the street. So that would suck to have that thing hit your car, uh, hit someone else's car, cause a lot of damage. So what I've come up with is something basic and it'll work just fine. I bought a hockey puck and put a hole in it with a 7 8 inch conduit that I used from before, so I had this laying around, but it needs to be 7 8 or right around 7 8 of an inch uh, round. Uh, that'll fit right up in the hole, no problem. Now I'm gonna make four of these things. I've already made this one. I actually bought a kit with 12, so I can make three sets actually. Very inexpensive. Conduit's super cheap, and these hockey pucks are super cheap as well. And as, as long as you have the tools, as long as you have a drill press, or you can probably do a handheld too, and a good uh, a good drill bit, a 7 8 drill bit, I would suggest a Forestner bit, that way you get a nice straight hole, it doesn't dance all over the place, and just throw it in friction fit. It's not gonna come out, you, you kinda have to pound it in there. And I did sand uh, bevel the edges just a little bit so it's not so sharp. Let me show you that it fits right in there. So here's the hole right here. So you wanna put pressure just around this thing. So this, is going to put pressure around here and it's soft enough where it's going to uh, cushion it a little bit not mar this at all and uh, lift the car up so it goes right in there you put the jack underneath here and then you jack the car up couldn't be easier the company that makes these that have the pin they charge like 25 dollars a piece i got 12 hockey pucks for like 19 dollars, and the rod is laying around so uh, really easy to do. So let me show you how to make one. So what you want to do, you want to be able to find center. And since a lot of people out there don't like math, it's hard to find where a center is on there because you can't just draw a line across because you don't know exactly where the, the farthest points are. There are tools for this, but why do that? It's really easy. You take your pencil, you kind of put it where you think the middle is, and then you rest your two fingers right here. You lock them together, and then all you're gonna do is rotate and make a little half moon. You're gonna rotate, make a little half moon. Rotate, make a little half moon. Rotate, and there what you have is four lines that intersect that are the same distance apart, and right in the middle is the center of the hockey puck. It's really easy. As long as you don't move your fingers, you can't mess that up. You don't need a drill press, but you can use a handheld drill if you'd like to. Uh, it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult. Uh, with a drill press, you can easily go in, you can see exactly how far down you are, or you can set a depth, and then you don't have to worry about it. That one there is the 7 8 drill bit for the 7 8 pipe that we have. We're going to drill this hole until this is buried flat on the top. So we have a center hole already. Probably should be wearing a mask. You probably shouldn't be breathing this stuff. Sticking above the face or, or the top of this, the pipe needs us to, uh, the pipe or dowel rod, whatever you decide to use, uh, needs to sit up five eighths of an inch or less. Three quarter is really the max, but I wouldn't want to push it any farther anyway. So I'm saying five eighths. You measure down how far you drilled the hole and then add five eighths to that. And then you cut your pipe, your dowel rod, whatever you want to cut 
and then we're gonna sandwich this all together. I'm gonna cut the pipe now. You can cut it whichever way you want. I'm not gonna show you how to do that because I don't want the safety police getting on me because I'm not doing it very safe. I'm not doing it safe, but I know my tools pretty well, so I'm gonna be okay. Once those are cut, this is one of them. I'm actually going to bevel these edges just with uh, some sanding paper. Uh, actually, I have a disc sander. If you don't have these tools, it's not a big deal. You can use regular paper, you can use hand tools. Uh, you can cut this with the sawzall, you can cut this with a bandsaw, you can cut this with whatever you have will work. Uh, you can go, instead of using metal, you can go get dowel rods and those are a lot easier to cut because they're wood. I'm just gonna sand these edges, I'll show you how we smash it on there. I smash, smash. I drilled the three pucks here. This is the one that's already done that I showed you earlier. And then I got the three rings. Sanded them, as you can see. I beveled the little edges there on the both sides so it don't catch anything. They don't fit right in there, but and you don't want to take a hammer. You don't want to hit the side because you can damage this and bend this and make it oblong and then it doesn't fit. Just kind of get this centered where you want it. A block of wood, hold it above it. That is going to protect this edge because you're going to mar the 2x4 up. So one of the main reasons I wanted these four is because, like I said in the beginning of the video, I've got a lot of plans for this, uh, lifting up the car to do a couple couple projects that I'm going to be show, sharing with you guys. So I have, I have a lot of projects going on, but to do that, you need to jack the car up. I'll have a link for the hockey pucks down below as well where I got them if you'd like to make your own. And since I told you in the beginning that I bought enough to do three sets, I only need one set. I'm gonna give two sets away to, to you guys. I'll drill the hole, cut the metal, and I'll send them out to you. You'll have to press the metal into there, really easy. I'm sure you have a hammer and a block of wood. Shouldn't be very difficult. But uh, I'll send them out to you, to two people. Leave a positive uplifting comment in there, and I'm gonna pick two of the best winners. Say you wanna win, because uh, other people, you could just have a regular comment, which more than, more than welcome to do. Type a giveaway, and then say your, say your comment, uh, or put giveaway at the end. I'll send them out to you. Speaking of giving back, I wanna thank all of you that have used my referral code for, to, for purchasing your Model S, Model X, and now the Model 3. You can use it on any Tesla that you can purchase right now, which is awesome of Tesla to do. We are getting closer and closer and closer to that Roadster, and it's getting really exciting. A lot of people out there are getting enough referrals to get their Roadsters. Some are even getting enough for two and continuing on to try to get three. I'm not gonna try to do that. I'm actually, I would like to give back to you guys. Once I hit 100% on that Roadster, with a little buffer, just in case some of you don't take delivery, I'm actually gonna start promoting some of your referral codes. I hear all the time when I go to meetups, like this last weekend, how close we were getting and everyone said, I, I heard a lot, I only have one referral. I don't have any referrals. Well, I wanna give back to you guys. You guys have done so much for me as far as giving me great content, giving me great what if questions, um, giving me great feedback and just being there, being positive on my channel, which is awesome and supporting me on Patreon as well. I want to give back to you, promote your referral codes so you guys get things. So you guys can work past that one um, referral code that sends your, sends your picture to space. You can work towards getting that the home charger that can go on the wall. I want to give back. I'm going to set up a plan for that. I'm going to start with the Patreon people that have supported me at the $20 a month. You guys not only support me, you get the content and you get to vote on things on Patreon. I'm actually going to promote your referral code and then move on from there to help give back to as many people as possible until the referral program goes away. But for now, before we can do that, I gotta get to 100%, and I'm close. As you guys can see, if you click the link down below, uh, you, can, you can pull up how close I actually am. There's a few people that have been calling Tesla because they couldn't get the referral code to work. They've been contacting Tesla to, to add the referral code to their order. You know, stay with it, because I don't think they care as much as we do. <laughs> Program right now is pretty good, actually. You go buy any Tesla, Model S, Model X, Model 3, and you get six months free supercharging. Unlimited free supercharging for six months, which is great because the holiday season's coming. I'm sure you're gonna go home. I'm sure you're gonna wanna give people rides on the car. So drive it, have fun, and use it. So use my referral code. Click the link down below. It's the easiest way to place your order. Uh, if you go into the store, you give them the Karen 7537 number and they can add it that way. But most, most of you order online and you just click the link. And if you click the link, you can see how close we actually are. You can keep, uh, keep tabs on how close we actually are to uh, getting 
the roaster. It takes 55 referrals to get the roaster for free. That is gonna be fun, and I'm gonna bring it to you guys. I'm gonna bring it all, I'm gonna drive all over the place. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't come out for two years, probably. So, we got a little bit of time to kill, so I'll have quite a few videos in between there. But anyway, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome, stay positive. You wanna win these? I can't juggle, I'm not gonna try. I'll, I'll probably end up hitting the car or something. I'll catch you later.